Welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to customize the app drawer on your Redmi Note 14. So I'm using the Redmi Note 14 Pro Plus, but the same steps should apply for the other Redmi Note 14 phones. Now all you have to do is simply open settings. And then within the settings, scroll down and select home screen. Tap on that. And then choose home screen. And then you should find select, you should find rather the app draw option. And you should see a list of options that you can customize for your app draw. Or alternatively, you can simply swipe up and access the home app draw. And then tap on the settings icon at the top right corner. And that will re reveal the app draw settings. Now there are a couple of things you can customize here within the app drawer. So if you'd like to enable and disable the app suggestions, so basically this displays the most frequently used apps in the app drawer. So if you'd like to enable and disable that, all you have to do is simply tap on the toggle switch icon to disable it. It will turn gray, indicating, indicating that it has been disabled. And if you tap on it again, it will turn blue, indicating that you have enabled that app suggestions. Also, you can choose to manage the categories or rather you can choose to group your applications into categories so simply tap on manage app categories and then you can enable and disable categories apps so if you want to enable that and disable that you can simply do that and this will categorize all the applications on your app drawer also you can choose to set a custom category so you can tap on custom and then choose the applications that you'd like to set it into a different category so let's say for instance let me choose this application and this one and that one so you'll see them here and then tap on the enter category name and rename that category so I'll just say games and then once you're done simply tap on the check mark and you should see that category has been added and also you can confirm this by going to the app drawer and then when you tap on the app drawer you should see another category so you can tap on that and you can see all the applications that you have set now you can repeat the same process for all the other applications that you'd like to group them together. So simply tap on manage app categories and then tap on custom and create your own category. Now another thing you can cho choose to change the background of your app draw. So simply tap on backgrounds and then there's a, a list of options that are available. If you want a light background, if you want a dark background or if you want an auto background where it detects if the system is in light mode or in dark mode, you can simply select that. Alternatively, you can choose also to display the background, your phone background on the app draw. So all you have to do is use the slider icon by increasing the background transparency. So if you can set it to 100, 75, 50, 25% or if you don't want it, you can simply set to zero. So once you make the changes you prefer, so let's say at 75%, simply tap on apply and you can see a brief preview on how it will look like. Now also you can choose to change the scroll bar. So you can simply tap on that. You can choose either the original layout, which looks like this. So this is the original layout. So this is the scroll bar. Or you can choose to have the A to Z scroll bar. So tap on that. And once you go to the home or to the app draw, you can see now your app draw has changed to A to Z. Also you can choose to enable place new apps on the home screen if you want to place new apps on the home screen you can choose to enable that or disable that and also you can choose to group icons by color so this will help you find your apps faster so if you want to enable that simply tap on that tool switch icon and once you enable you can choose to either enable animation in that color categories so you can enable it and disable it if you want to disable the group icons by color simply tap on the toggle switch icon and that will disable it it will disable that feature so that's basically it on how to customize your app draw on your Redmi Note 14. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel.